Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juliana. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to tie a nice scarf into a top. I think this is such a cute trend for summer. It's in big on TikTok, and hence I wanna continue it right onto YouTube. I did mention this in my second last video, which is a Shein haul. The scarf I'm gonna be using today in the video is from Shein, and it's just about the perfect size to tie the majority of tops. I'm also wearing a scarf top right now. This is one of the ones that's already pre-made into a top. It's also from Shein, so if you guys wanna go back and check out that video, there are tons of cute spring and summer wardrobe pieces in there. And as always, if you're shopping on Shein, be sure to use my code, J-U-L-E-S-S-M-U-R-P-H-5 for 15% off and free shipping in most cases. But anyway, you guys, I don't really wanna dawdle at all. I wanna get right into showing you the different styles you can do. I'm probably gonna do about five different ways to tie it. Some safer, some more risky, some more casual, so a little bit more, you know, as formal as you can get when you're wearing a scarf for a top. But I do think these are all super cute and absolutely adorable for summer. But anyway, I'm just gonna slip into a little something because obviously I cannot start out nude and still show you guys this and we will get right into tying these tops. Alrighty, so this is the scarf I'm gonna be using. It looks huge, but it's actually only 90 by 90 centimeters. And if I were to get another scarf, to do tops with, which I don't think you can get from Shein, but you can probably get it elsewhere. I would get one that's a little bit larger, like at least 110 centimeters by 110 centimeters. I know it's kind of like a random size, but I think that'd be like more ideal. Um, there's just a few different styles of tops you can't do with one that's only this size. I'm gonna show you guys one right now that I think is really cool, but you definitely need like a much larger scarf to do it. But that being said, you can still do the majority of the style that I'm interested in with a scarf just like this. This is the top I told you guys I'm gonna wear underneath. Hopefully it doesn't really take away from it. I will take this off to show you guys like the styling portion of things so you're not like confused about what a tank top to get underneath of it. This is super cheap, it's from Wish. It was like $3. I actually get so much use out of this particular top wearing underneath a very wide variety of things. There'd be tops where I have just like a little bit less coverage than I want or even doing something like this. So honestly, I'll probably link this too. This is a, like a perfect tank top in my opinion. So just FYI, I'm not sponsored by Wish, but I do love this top. So I just wanted to throw it out there. But anyway, let's just get right into the styling now. So I recognize this might be a little bit basic, but it's also one of my favorites. So I am gonna show it to you anyway. You're gonna start off by folding it in half so that you have a giant triangle and you're gonna hold it by the two, I don't know, ends of the longer part of your triangle and then you're just gonna throw that around your back and tie it in the front however you like. I kinda like how it looks like a bow, but that seems a little bit unsafe to me, so I usually end up doing this kinda like double knot thing, and I just mess around with it until it looks good. Basically like that, and I just like fluff out the sides a bit, and then you just pull down the bottom so that everything you want covered is all covered up. Most important part, fold in the back. That triangle hanging down is not super cute. So just fold it up and in and somehow it doesn't ever end up falling out for me. So you're pretty much safe once you do that. Paper to data and data to glory. Up in the cloud they are saving my story. Paper to data and data. So this next one is the riskiest one I do, and I will say I think it would be far less risky with a bit of a bigger scarf, but it starts out the same way by holding on to the two long ends of your folded triangle, and then again, just putting them right around your back. After you do that, you're gonna take the two ends and tie them behind your neck. I always end up getting my hair in there, so just be careful not to pull your hair, but long story short, tie it nice and secure behind your back. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna go down to the front and just adjust it so that everything is covered up. If you have really small boobs, I'd be worried about it falling off. Like I'd almost be worried to leave the house myself. Again, fold in the back part, of course. But as I said, I'd almost be worried for myself, but I think if your boobs are a bit bigger, it'd be more likely to stay in place. For me, I end up playing with this a lot just to keep it where I want it. I mean, I think it's secure enough to go out, but also like a little bit risky, if you know what I mean. Real This one's gonna be really hard to show you guys. Basically, I'm wearing a strapless bra and I'm tying this from the side so you guys don't see too much, but you tuck one end of the scarf under and one over your strapless bra so that the bra itself is completely covered and it kind of looks like a top. Once you have those two pieces on the opposite sides, then you tie them together, which you can see me doing right here. Sorry, I couldn't show you guys front on, but I know that YouTube would definitely take this down for, you know, like BS nudity rules. But once you have that done, you just tuck it all up into your bra and it makes this cute little, like, I guess kind of looks like a tube top type moment. And you just make sure the whole bra is covered and you honestly can't tell that you're not just wearing a top. I don't know, I think it's really cute myself. 
So for this next one, you are gonna need to be wearing some kind of necklace. I chose this double gold chain I have, and you're gonna take one corner of the scarf and just start by tying that onto the necklace. You can kind of tie it on however you like because you can go back and fix it later, but do make sure it's nice and secure, otherwise you do run the risk of, you know, it coming off at an inopportune moment throughout your day. Can't really see what I'm doing there, but I'm just making sure the knot is nice and tight. And then you're gonna grab the two ends of your scarf. And then to make it easier for myself, I kind of just roll them up so that you have like a, a shorter scarf to work with, but you don't have to do that. We're gonna deal with this part afterward either way. But take those two pieces and you're gonna tie them securely behind your back. And then once that is done, go ahead and tuck all that extra scarf in. Now at this point, the top looks kind of low, so I just go ahead and I pull that whole thing up and it is really secure, it is. And then the last step for this one is just to hide that little bit of fabric so you can kind of tuck it back into the knot or really just like put it anywhere down in there and you can't even see it anymore. But I think that is a really cute style. Italy, riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field, yeah. Warm wind blowing and birds are singing in cypress trees. Anyway, you guys, I think that's all for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was useful to you. Scarf tops are super popular right now, so I was looking around trying to find videos with ideas, and I think that some of these are actually pretty unique ones that you could try out and kind of stand out when you're going downtown or just dressing casually or whatever it might be. If you're getting your own scarf top, feel free to use my code, J-U-L-E-S-S-M-U-R-P-H-5, for anything on the Shein website. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and comment down below the videos you'd like to see me make soon. You guys have an amazing week and I will see you guys in the next video. Ebook, then I learn to cook from videos and line. Oh, yeah, we all have been stuck in our apartments for two months too long. We don't need